This is the example video for higher dimensional systems. For our first problem, we want to solve the system x prime equals 4x minus 5y plus 4z, y prime equals negative y plus 4z, and z prime equals z. Um, so the way we go about this is we first convert this into a matrix equation, and we do that by turning this into a vector, x prime, y prime, z prime. Use a different color. So x prime, y prime, z prime. This is our vector. And then <clears throat> convert this into a uh, vector. I'm going to put all the y terms underneath the y terms, all the z terms underneath the z terms. Um, so, we can turn this into a product between a matrix and a vector. So this will be the matrix 4, negative 5, 4, 0, negative 1, 4, 0, 0, 1. And this is times x, y, z. <clears throat> and the numbers in the matrix are just the coefficients on our um, x, y's, and z's. And then we can just call this x prime. And we can just call this um, x. Actually, we'll just call this a. So if we define a to be 4, negative 5, 4, 0, negative 1, 4, 0, 0, 1. And this equation just reduces to what we've been dealing with, x prime equals ax. So now we can go about solving this equation. Um, first step, as usual, is to find the eigenvalues. So we look at a minus lambda i. That's 4 minus lambda, negative 5, 4, 0, negative 1 minus lambda, 4, 0, 0, negative, or sorry, 1 minus lambda. And actually, we don't even need to do that because we have what's called an upper triangular matrix. All the entries below the diagonal are 0. So we know the eigenvalues are just the diagonal entries, 4, negative 1, and 1. So lambda equals 4, negative 1, and 1. And now for each of these eigen distinct real eigenvalues, we know that they we're going to get a distinct eigenvector. So what we do that is we look at lambda 1, which we'll say is ne uh, positive 4. Then we look at a minus 4i. That's going to be 0, negative 5, 4. 0, negative 5, 4. And 0, 0, negative 3. And we want to find v1, which we'll say is equal to components a, b, c, such that a minus 4i times v1 equals 0. So v one's in the null space of a minus 4i. And that reduces to the augmented matrix that we have here. If we take row 1 and subtract um, if we actually divide row 3 by negative 3, and then we take row 1 and subtract 4 row 3, and we also do the same for row 2, we'll get 0, negative 5, 0. 0, negative 5, 0, and 0, 0, 1. And if we just divide row 1 and row 2 by negative 5, um, 
and then we just subtract row two by row one, we get zero, one, zero, 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 and zero, zero, zero. Um, this tells us that B equals, <coughs> and sorry, I forgot this one here. <laughs> that tells us B equals zero, and C equals zero, and A equals A. <coughs> so that means our B1, which equals ABC, is equal to A0, zero, zero. If we set A to be 1, this just gives us an eigenvector of 1, 0, 0. So that means our first solution is e to the 4t times 1, 0, 0. Or e to the lambda 1t times v1. So now we go back to our other eigenvectors. Um, or sorry, eigenvalues. If you look at uh, lambda 2, which equals negative 1. That means we consider a plus i. Um, a plus i is equal to 5, negative 5, 4, 0, 0, 4, and 0, 0, 0. Um, if we look, we're trying to find a vector b2, which is equal to d, e, f, um, which satisfies a plus i times b2 equals 0. This gives us the augmented matrix 5, negative 5, 4, 0, 0, 4, and 0, 0, 2. And then on the right, 0, 0, 0. If I reduce this, and I'll just do this one in my head, you can check my work. This tells us that um, D minus E equals 0, and F equals 0. So that means D equals E, E equals E, and F equals 0. That means B2 is equal to E, E, 0. And if we set E to be 1, we get 1, 1, 0. That's our second eigenvector. So that means our second solution, Y2. And uh, this should actually be X, because we're using X as our variable. So x2 is going to be equal to um, e to the negative t um, times 1, 1, 0. Now if we look at our third eigenvalue, lambda 3, that's going to equal um, 1. So we're going to be considering a minus i. a minus i is going to be... 3, negative 5, 4, 0, negative 2, 4, and 0, 0, 0. So we're looking for a B3, which is equal to G, H, I, which satisfies A minus I times B3 equals 0. Um, this gives us the augmented matrix 3, negative 5, 4. 0, negative 2, 4, and 0, 0, 0. And then on the right we have 0, 0, 0. Um, when you row reduce this, um, I don't think I fully row reduced it, but this gives us 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, all equaling 0, 0, 0. <clears throat> so that tells us that um, tells us that G um, minus H equals 0, and then negative H um, plus 2I equals 0. And I is not the imaginary number here, it's just what I'm calling the component. Um, so that tells us G equals H, H equals H, and uh, I equals um, H over 2. So that gives us V3 equaling H, H, and H over 2. If we set H to equal 2, then we get our third eigenvector 1, or 2, 2, 1.
So this gives us our third solution, x3, not y3, um, which is e to the t, 2, 2, 1. So our final solution is y, our x of t, equals c1 um, times our first solution, x1, which is e to the 4t, 1, 0, 0, plus c2, e to the negative t, um, 1, 1, 0, and then c3, e to the t, 2, 2, 1. And if you want to put this back in terms of what we had before, um, remember this equals x, y, z. So x equals c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the negative t plus uh, 2 c3 e to the t and y equals c2 e to the negative t plus c3 or 2 c3 e to the t and then z equals c3 e to the t. And this is our solution.